Hi, welcome. Today we are going to be talking about soft classics. As you all know, I am not a soft classic. I'm a flamboyant gamine. If you're new here and you have no idea what I'm talking about, my number one recommendation for you is to watch more of my videos. That way you can kind of get up to speed on what I mean when I say I'm a gamine or what I mean when I talk about David Kibbe. Today, as I said, we're talking about the soft classic body type. You look at a soft classic and you just think, wow, overall, generally just beautiful people. They are elegant, they are refined, they have like this um, almost subdued femininity. They can wear like the most simple, minimal, perfectly tailored, clean lines. I'm going to be taking elements from soft classic lines and soft classic recommendations and trying to incorporate those ideas into a more flamboyant gamine friendly outfit. Soft classics are in the classic family. Classic types in the kibbe universe <laughs> are balanced in their yin and yang proportions. So they don't have any extremes in their bodies. They're just at the middle ground. And so when you look at them, you see symmetry. You can't really gauge whether or not a certain feature is a yin feature or a yang feature, like a sharp feature or a soft feature. They're kind of just blended together and they form just this very evenly proportioned, perfectly imbalanced silhouette. If you're a soft classic, because there's variations between the two, you can have a little bit more yin or a little bit more yang in your frame. And I think right now Kibby even has deleted the peer types from his you know, categorization. I'm still toying whether or not I want to delete the middle ground because I have seen people since I've started offering body typing services, there really are some people who are just kind of right in the middle. Like they really don't lean either way. Soft classics are like a classic type, but they have more yin in their frame. They might be a little bit more lush. They might have some curves. So they might have a more um, youthful appearance. They might seem a little bit less intense. All of that with a symmetrical and balanced frame. And when I say frame, I'm talking about their bones, their bone structure. So that's kind of my take on the soft classic. The essence of the soft classic is very reserved. They're very like poised, typically. Contrasting that with flamboyant gamines who are typically seen as, you know, disproportionate if I can be so bold to speak of my own type this way. In the style realm, like how a flamboyant gamine would dress, is that they would have to mimic that level of extremes. They would have to mimic their disproportion with their outfits. How do you achieve, as a flamboyant gamine, a more minimal aesthetic? And I think that we have a lot to learn from soft classics because where a flamboyant gamine might need a lot of interesting things to wear to feel okay and comfortable. Soft classic, they typically only need like one element to overwhelm them. If you're trying to look edgy, like just wear a cool pair of earrings or interesting pair of shoes. Whereas I feel like with flamboyant gamine, <laughs> you kind of have to add a lot in order to just feel like baseline. Like, I'm good. Like, this is a solid outfit. Like, I always feel like I'm missing pieces if I try to dress too minimally. Have a quick little test if you're deciding between a classic type and a gamine type. Add something that's extreme to your look. And you'll figure out pretty quickly, I think, whether or not you're a gamine or a classic. And especially with the yin-yang balance, like, flamboyant gamine is going to be not only disproportionate but yang dominant whereas a soft classic is going to be balanced and yin dominant and so you're going to just really see a difference almost immediately if you were to put them together. That's all I have to say around that topic. Um, let me know if any of that resonated with you in the comments down below and if you're soft classic like say hey, I want to know if I have any soft classics here. I think I do. I wanted to be inspired by a true classic and I decided to pick, obviously, Grace Kelly. She has this one outfit 
that I think is really cool. And it has some interesting elements as well with the belt and the scarf. And so I wanted to try and create an outfit that's similar, maybe a modern take on it using clothes that I already own. So let's go ahead and do it. So looking at Grace Kelly's top, she has this kind of notched collar that I think is really beautiful. And it's a very symmetrical, minimal button down top. I realized that I have something similar. This top is linen. I paired this with my light wash denim that I barely ever wear because it is just too squeezy on my legs. I don't like wearing these anymore. They have a little bit of a a little bit of wear and tear to them, which ideally a classic would have very neat tailored pants that are not disheveled in any way, but these are older pants and these were my best shot at having pants that were not only a uh, kind of mid-rise on me, <laughs> believe it or not. These are technically high-rise pants, but they're mid-rise on me because that's just a sign of my disproportion. That's all I have to say. And pants that were long enough. Most of my other pants are cropped and I typically roll the hem of these pants because that's key for a gamine type, but not so much for a classic type. You want things to end where you end, that you want your clothes to be closely fitted to your body, not too tight, not too loose. So I put on a brown belt to keep with the sort of low contrast look that I'm trying to create here with the soft classic vibe. And then obviously a pair of mules are going to be perfect for a look like this. Beige mules keep with that monochromatic low contrast energy. I have very simple jewelry on. I'm wearing just these earrings my croissant hoops from Majuri. They have a little bit of texture to it and they're small, so they're adding a bit of that yin element that I need to create that soft classic vibe. The belt also creates a bit of waist emphasis. And then I added a bag. I wanted to kind of mimic the scarf um, Grace has in her pocket. And so I tied on my uh, brown dot hanky from Ozma to this beige, minimal bag. There you go. I feel like that's a pretty soft classic look. I think any soft classic would look beautiful wearing something like this. Hair is really important for classic types, which is really tricky because right now I'm allowing my hair to lock up, which means it's not neat. Right now it's very frizzy, and so I did my best to at least create some symmetry and to tie back my hair in a way that felt a little bit more um, refined for this stage of my lock journey that I'm in. So if you are natural and you are trying to create a hairstyle as a classic that feels refined and neat, first of all, don't force it. Second of all, just go for symmetry. Symmetry is gonna be your best friend. You can do this with braids, you can do this with locks, you can do this with literally anything. Just create a symmetrical look and then have like a middle length hairstyle as well if you have like a textured hairstyle. There's no reason for you to try and like smooth your hair down. Your hair is perfect and beautiful so don't try and make it anything that it's not, you know? Now let me tell you about how I feel in this look because it doesn't look bad. This is, this is interesting. It doesn't look bad but it feels so stiff for me. I feel like a look like this really suits someone with a bit more of a refined and poised um, essence because it really supports very minimal movement, very dainty and delicate movement, which maybe for a soft classic that would be um, comfortable for them to have those boundaries, to have that kind of supportive container for themselves. But for me, I gotta add a little something something. Here's how to pull in some gamine elements. You would only need to add one of these elements. If you start getting crazy and adding too many gamine elements, it's going to start to feel like you're trying really hard to be fun. You don't need a lot. So this could be adding a little bit of asymmetry with a crossbody bag and then adding a colorful scarf to the bag instead of a muted and subdued one. You could wear sneakers instead of a refined and elegant shoe. Add some jewelry, maybe add some interesting accessories. So if you had a completely minimal look, maybe adding one pair of really intricate earrings um, right by your face. But of course, I'm gonna make sure that 
I'm adding enough pieces to feel supported and to feel like my outfit is more like me. And so I'm adding wide leg pants instead of pants that are closely fitted. This creates a bit of a boxy and extreme silhouette on the bottom of my look and really follows the line that I have in my hip area in a way that I feel like is more flattering. Also, these wide leg pants are cropped. They have a higher rise than my light wash denim. That immediately shifts the line up and so not only does that make my linen top a shorter box when I tuck everything in, it also plays with a long yet short line, shifting the line up a little bit and creating that line that is not gonna go all the way down to my ankle and not going to taper or have a clean ending at my ankles. Obviously I can wear this outfit with mules, but I'm gonna wear it with sneakers. Duh, that feels so complete for me. I love that situation. I'm trying to keep this still with soft classic flavor, still with a little bit of elegance to it, and so I'm going to keep my beige bag I'm going to keep um, the scarf element. You all know I love the scarf element. But I'm going to add some jewelry. I added a couple of my statement rings. I'm changing my hair. I'm still gonna wear a low bun. I'm still gonna pull it back. It has that same quality to it. But I'm going to obviously change my part, make it a side part for some asymmetry and pull out some pieces in the front for a bit of a tousled face framing effect and that is my gamine version of a soft classic elegant vibe so what do you think i want to hear from you tell me in the comments below which look you liked the best on me did you really appreciate the soft classic energy that i was serving at the beginning of this <laughs> experiment or do you notice the difference when I'm wearing clothes that really suit my lines and my energy and are practical for the life that I'm trying to live as well? Soft classics, did I do you justice? Are you offended by anything I said about you? Because I really think that you're some of the most beautiful people on this planet. And I don't say that about every type. Why? No. Of course not. <laughs> Let me know who you want to see next. I'm thinking I'm going to do soft natural next because I really love playing with these extremes. Like who's the farthest away from flamboyant gaming? Like that's what I'm trying to toy around with in my expression. Anyway, let me know what you all think. I love you all so much. And if you're curious about your own body type, if you feel like you can't see yourself clearly, I now offer body typing services through my Patreon, and so when you support me over there, you can get a style consultation with me. So far, that's been so much fun. I've loved meeting you all and getting to chat with you on the Zoom and all of those sorts of things. If you're curious about where to start on your style journey and what recommendations you should be playing with and experimenting with, and in general, if you just want to support this channel, I do post bonus content over on Patreon. I have live chats every month, and so if you want to join me over in that space, definitely check it out. I'll leave the link below. I love you all so very much, and I hope that you have a great week or weekend whenever you're watching this video definitely subscribe like this video if you liked it leave me a comment okay and i will talk to you very very soon bye